Okay, if you go to any car dealing website, for example, for us, let's go to car.com. As you can see, we have cars here and we have like this one here. This is the name of a car and this can be maybe the description of a car. Let's just click on a particular car here, for example, here. So it is opening. As you can see here, we have this car here. So it is 2020. And this is the name. This is the price here. And this here is the mileage. So also, I don't know what is this. And we have an image here. So we have various images. And also it is the same to all the cars. They have the name, price, and the mileage. Also some description. So if you go to our VS Code here, we know that. So to create our database, we need a table which can contain the name. So this should be a name of a car. So it should it should have the description. Also, it should have the, as you remember, the brand of the car. Also, we should have the price, of course. And then let's say we have the mileage. Now let's create, of course, the, another the another field is the image field and we shall deal with this so let's create a class and let us call it a listing so a listing should pass a model dot model and then let us say the name should give it the equals to model dot car field and should give it a maximum range of 100 and let us give it a description so the description should it be equal to models models dot car field also the maximum length should be 100. another thing is the brand so also the brand it should be a car field so models dot car field so also the maximum length should be 100 also let us give it a marriage so this should be the integer field so models dot integer field and then we should give it a price also the price should be the integer field models dot integer integer field also we should have the image so on the case of image there is some settings so let us just leave it like a comment and then we are going to talk about it later on the image section okay let us just see if everything is okay let's delete this and then let us save save our model here now let us go to the admin.py to register our model as you remember so we should import from these models we should import our model so which is the listing then we should write admin.site.register we need to register this particular model and our model is listing okay let us save this now let us go to our terminal here and try to run our server if everything is fine so python manage.py learn server learn server click enter so everything is learning okay as you can see here on the terminal we have what we call this uh we have the 18 and applied migrations as you can see them here so so we need to migrate these migrations also including our table here so we are going to keep them on the migration folder so 
just cancel the server and write python manage.py make migrations so click enter so it's asking for this listing so we, we need to migrate this list so this migrating this just like python main.py migrate and then if you press enter all the migrations are done including all the other 18 those were unapplied okay now let us try to run our first of all we need to create a super user to access our admin so just create python manage.py create super user so here you need to write your username for me i'm going to write admin then email address you can put any email address for us is admin.cipher.co.tz okay now the password just type the password you want just make sure that the password doesn't show just type again make sure the password should be the same and strong for us asking the password is too similar just click y for yes and then let us learn our server again now our server is learning correct and no any other migrations just after the address you just write slash then admin of course it's admin then you click enter you can see we have the django administration here just let the username and the password you kept it during creating the super user okay now as you can see here we have the users here if you click here we have the user we created and the email also we have the listing model we created here so let us try to create a listing here so let us give the name of the car let us say yes hyundai santa fe and then let us give it a description okay now let us give it a brand so the brand should be hyundai and the mileage just keep it one and the price should be let us just say equals to this one here save this and then you can see here instead of the name we have the listing object you need to fix it here let's go back to our code here and then just define a function here underscore underscore str and then should pass self and then it should return self dot name okay let's save this and it's learning okay let's go back to a browser refreshing here see we have the hyundai santa fe here on our django administration so we are able to add our listing here and this is how you can create and migrate your models and this is how you can register your models as you can see and how to access our django administration next we need to go to create our views